Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome yourself to something I didn't think I would ever really have access to, but welcome to the Skullgirls mobile closed beta. Now, um, I will say this right now just for those curious, uh, the way I record my phone screen and everything, sadly I don't have a way to record the audio, so I'll just throw in some music from the Skullgirls soundtrack and such, but yeah. I was very one of the very lucky people who got access to the closed beta for this and let me tell you It's weird, but they really really made it work first off They also really really got the look down it it's pretty it's as close to the original as it can get now before I go ahead and really check out anything else There's these little things which are like relics or something and it's weird It's a little difficult to explain but the best way I can think about explaining them are Consider it something along the lines of like a, a case in CSGO or something. So say for example you have one of these relics or whatever and depending on the relic you'll get different things. So say for example the daily relic here, you know you drag it right there whatever and you have the chance to get just about anything with these daily relics. Uh, but keep in mind you're, it's not like you're just gonna get the best thing possible or whatever but you have a chance of getting something along the lines of a character, a skin, money, that sort of stuff. Or coins, rather. But as well, there are also specific relics for specific characters. So let's say you've unlocked a character and you want to get, oh, I don't know, a special move or something for them because that's how... I'll, I'll go more in depth with that, but say you want that, then uh, there are specific relics for characters, if I'm not mistaken. I If, I'm, if any of the information provide and this is wrong feel free to correct me but yeah it's really cool and I know some people are gonna be upset over this decision with everything I know not everybody's gonna really agree with this Wow, I got jack shit there but at the end of the day I do understand why they did this because it's just like yeah they, they kind of need to if they really expect to make any sort of money off of this I don't know if they're gonna make the Skullgirls mobile you pay to buy like you buy it to play it or whatever but it's it's whatever at the end of the day you don't actually have to get you don't have to buy the relics with like these uh, little gems or whatever you don't have to you don't have to buy coins if you don't want to you do not have to do any of that of course it may give you an advantage but at the end of the day that's just how it is so so far there's a story mode here which I've played a little bit of and I apologize if you wanted to see the first bits of story mode uh, if I can, I'll see if I can do those, but all it really was was tutorials and things of that sort. There's also Versus, you've got Quick Play and you've got Arena. I'm not, I've not tested out Arena yet, so I have not a clue what the hell that is. Uh, aside from that, we also have Events. Events is another thing. You have like, uh, you have like very specific, uh, it's, think of it like challenges against specific characters. So say for example, After School Special is just simply revolving around Philia. Walking the beat is simply revolving around Big Band, uh, and so on. It's pretty obvious from like the from like the little title cards they have there, who you're going to be fighting and that sort of thing. But I've not fully gone into events either, so I'm not completely sure about that. The only thing I've really tested is story, and let's just get into that, why don't we? So let's start off with a fish bone to pick. Of course, they had to goddamn name it that, but yeah. All right, so let's start here. So yet again. Think of it like the story mode for Skullgirls, just in general. They have, you know, the text, the everything of that sort. It's pretty normal, it's nothing too different. It is very faithful to actual Skullgirls and everything. But as you can see here, this is more so how it works. So, uh, in the specific story mode, you'll go to one place or whatever, and then you'll be fighting some characters, and you just keep going through there, so... See, for example, here, we're going to be fighting or whatever. I apologize if you really want to read the text or whatever, but it is what it is. Of course, it may be important to pay attention to the text, but at the end of the day, I'm just here to show off gameplay and show people what they really came for. So, of course, as you can see here, you can actually um, choose your teams and everything, of course, but the way this actually works is a tad bit different than you would maybe expect. So, I'll have a picture of it up on screen, but as you can see, there's little, like, symbols right next to the character's, um, like, the little number. Say, for example, 
big band has like the green symbol and then 112. Peacock has the little fire symbol and then 154. So it's a little strange, but that is, it's, a, it's also very odd to explain, but think of it like a typing sort of thing. I'm not really sure what to compare to that to in specific, but uh, it's it's something along those lines. I'm struggling to just fucking choose this. All right, because I want to, I kind of want to have Big Band and, uh, and Cerebella instead, but... So here's the one weird, here's the one thing, uh, I suppose, that, uh, oh, so we've got all this, blah, 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 yes, yes, yes. So you have moves that you can actually equip because it's no longer just button combos or this because as you can imagine that would be very very strange to actually put into a game so let's see we've got our burst but we've also got brass knuckles i'm gonna equip that because that would be very very useful uh let's see what else do i have any special moves for uh cerebella here i don't believe i do i've just got uh, well, well well no 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 i'm wrong i have that so may as well use that uh i think we're good there as you can see with the Diamond Dynamo, the other ones that say Unlock and Skill Tree, those are some other like special moves, but like I said, or more so, Showstoppers. Those, um, you'll be able to change those, that sort of thing, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, as always, but then again, this is the closed beta. This is not like the final, final thing. Things could change. Anything could change. Just keep that in mind. And enough of that. Sorry for stalling. Let's finally get into the fight. <laughs> so, you'd be surprised how actually well done the fighting is. So, hold up. I'm gonna just back up for a moment. I need to get a couple hits in here. Ooh, there we go. Not bad, not bad. I'm gonna be careful. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh shoot. Ooh, just gonna block just in case. Now, as you can see... It's pretty well done, and that's what really, really surprised me, if I'm perfectly honest, because... A fighting game is not something I necessarily expect to work well on mobile platforms, but... Hey man, they've managed to do it, so I'm not gonna question them one bit at all. Oh, Jesus, nope, didn't block. Oh, uh, I'm a bit stupid for that, but whatever. I'm trying to get a, a grab there. So, I'm not gonna go ahead and explain, like, attacks and stuff, because it... It's actually a lot more simple than one would think, truth be told. It's literally just like, tap, or press two of this, or do that, and that's it! That's literally it! It's very well done, very simple. I would say the little buttons for like, special moves and showstoppers and all that are... a very, very smart idea. It makes it a lot easier and more accessible to new players who might not be completely familiar with Skullgirls, or just not completely familiar with fighting games in general. And it really does make it really, really easy to play, so to say. So we're just going to move on to the second one here, why don't we? I'm hoping to get through at least this little branch of story mode today, but I'm not sure if I can. Um, do I really want to keep playing Cerebella? I, I'm, I'm kind of feeling kind of feeling Peacock right now. So let's switch you off. But I also want to, because I don't have anything equipped for you, let's make sure we equip that. Thank you very much. So you can like upgrade it and stuff, but the problem with that is uh, it costs a pretty decent amount uh, of like the coins and stuff, as well as the little other things, which I'm not sure what that is yet, but that's that. Then you also have the little, okay, then you also have the skill tree here, and as you can see, you need specific levels to reach certain stuff, that sort of stuff. I can actually upgrade this one, but I'm not sure if I really want to, but it's a very, it's oddly complex for its simple exterior, but I do feel that's going to allow for a very, very, very fun and unique experience for it. Maybe I'm wrong, but it is what it is. Maybe I'm biased because <laughs> I was blessed with the closed beta, but you know what? It, it's whatever. Now, one thing I don't completely remember is how to jump. That's one thing. I'm trying to remember if you can even just jump normally, but I'm pretty sure you can. Damn it, I was hoping to get off a special move there. There we go! Shoop! <laughs> she did not stand a chance. Hey, oh, oh no. Ah! <laughs> Shit. Damn it, I didn't even get it. Wow, okay, that was 
a bit easier than I anticipated, I'll admit. Clearly, my peacock is better. Let's move on to the next one. Ooh, we got a level up on Big Band. That's great. Now, I can't say I really anticipated there for be to be any, like, leveling system or anything of that sort with this, but oddly enough, the fact that it's even just there, it's surprisingly well done. Okay, now I'm gonna really, really want to... Ooh, wait, no. That's actually not a good idea. So as you can see, it has the little arrows there that show your sort of compatibility with them. And it's actually not that great of an idea for me to go with Cerebella because we've got, or because they've got their big band and he'll put us at a disadvantage. So let's just fight as is and let's hope we don't completely mess up because uh, there are moments where, say for example, Quick Play, Quick Play just kicked my ass, no doubt about it. Oh god, nope, 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 oh Jesus. Got a nice grab off on him, got a dash after him, you know. Got to launch up, get those combos. Get him while he's down, even though he's not even down anymore. <laughs> Poor guy did not stand a chance. Ooh, okay, Philia coming out of nowhere. Oh shoot, nope, no, nope. Yeah, you gotta sort of plan out for that sort of stuff. You gotta be very wary about what your opponent may possibly do. I'm gonna send in Big Band here though, because I have a bit more faith in him. Hey yo! <laughs> oh, Big Band versus Big Band, huh? Hey yo, what's good? <laughs> You're dead! <laughs> and... Shabam! Oh, I thought that was gonna kill you, but nope. Of course not. Oh, nope. That's gonna hurt. Oh god, let me back off for a moment. So you're probably wondering what the thing in the middle is. Uh, this thing. What it does is it's essentially like an auto fight, and I'm not a fan of it, so you're not gonna see me using it. But it's there if you're just completely new and have no clue what to do, or you're just getting used to everything. But it's there for beginners and people who just may not be familiar with anything about anything for the game or whatever. It's there for those who want to try it. But like I said, as someone who's been a fan of Skullgirls and played it for a decent amount of time, I'm personally not going to get much out of it. I personally don't want to get much out of it as well because it just feels like a bit of a cop-out and makes me feel a tad bit lazy, you know? Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're fine with this, I believe. Unless Cerebella... No. At a disadvantage again. God damn it, Cerebella. Alright, whatever. Let's just go on through this fight and see how things work out for us. Now, I'm not sure how I'm going to fare up against this Valentine, but hopefully I shouldn't be too bad. As you can see, they have the... Like, it mentioned there, there's the elemental penalty and such. Ooh, God. Okay. Ooh, just be careful. Run up. Go for that. And finish him off. Perfect. Okay. Now we only got to deal with Pain Wheel. Pain Wheel might be... Difficult. Maybe not. <laughs> it's not looking like it. Hey yo, I got you up against the corner. It's it's over. Just <laughs> I feel bad. Oh god. Oh, we're fine. We're fine though. Hit him with the Oh Jesus. <laughs> that crab didn't even look normal in any way, if I'm perfectly honest. It just didn't look like it made any type of sense. Just gotta be careful here. Ah damn it. No, no, no. Oh Jesus. Got a little scared there, but there we go. Not bad, not bad at all. And off we go. <laughs> oh boy. Now, one thing I'm really actually looking forward to is uh, when this game obviously comes out of closed beta and, you know, is fully released to the public because then that'll allow online play. And I'm hoping that goes well because uh, Skullgirls Online is, I wouldn't say it's handled the best way, but I would say I believe that they handle it pretty decently here. Hmm, I don't know how I feel about this. I think I'm gonna switch out Peacock here because he's not gonna fare up too well against good old Cerebella, so let's see what we can do here, I suppose. I don't know what the question mark is, but we'll see, I guess. Wait, what? Oh, 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 okay, okay. So I, I thought it was gonna be like some character we just haven't unlocked or seen yet, but no, no, no. It was just simply keeping away Billy from it. Whoa, okay, that could have been really bad. Because if I'm not mistaken, she actually ended up using her armor there, which is yet again another thing that characters can do, another thing's character- Like, there are so many intricate details added in this, which is, like I said, can't say I expected it at all, but it's very well done, in my opinion. Not everybody's gonna agree. Some people might say, you know, this is looking pretty shit as a fighting game, but like I said, my opinion, I think it's pretty well done. I'd like to see- I'd like to see what- 
like what they're really going to do in the more complex side of things like is there ever going to be I guess tournaments for I don't I don't know what to really say more so like what can be done in the more complex and competitive side of things for this is anything possible for that is it just sort of like limited can they not really do an insane amount or what but it is what it is oh god oh god which is which am I Oh, Jesus. And that should finish him off, or not. Okay, cool. Never mind, got him anyway. <laughs> perfect. Now, sure I may look like I'm not doing half bad, but in reality, it's only because it's just the regular story mode and stuff. If it were the more advanced story mode, I'd probably get my ass handed to me multiple times and lose a ridiculous amount of times as well. But luckily, we're not playing that. Okay? So, if I'm perfectly honest, I also don't want to test out whatever these question marks are, because I just <laughs> I want to get through this, okay? I don't want to lose horribly or something. So, one cool thing I've noticed, actually, is that a lot of, like, the characters for skins and stuff, they actually have names and everything now. And that's really cool, in my opinion. Not everybody's going to agree, but... I do like it because it just it just adds a tiny little bit more detail to everything. And so it's gonna be three versus one. This could be really bad. But just gotta wait and see, I suppose. Oh god, Cerebella versus Cerebella. Alright, I gotta get off that first attack. Ooh, Jesus, there we go. So we got that armor off. Ooh, oh god, oh god, oh god. Nope. Dash into him. Oh, get the grab, get the grab. Oh no, no, no. Gonna have to switch. No! Oh no! Oh, gotta be careful. Yeah, thank you, big band. Wait, ooh, Jesus, I'm gonna look real quick. I don't trust you. There we go, perfect. Ooh, God. <laughs> Playing a bit more defensively, and I don't like that, but <laughs> they just decided to come approach me. Just because, oh, wow, damn it, a grab again. I'm gonna have to send in Peacock here. Luckily, ab luckily able to do a bit of starting damage right there. That's wonderful, that's great. Might not be too amazing, but it's worth a shot. Ooh, I don't I don't like the fact that they're not really approaching. That leads me to believe they're probably gonna try some sort of grab or something, but <laughs> Luckily I managed to get off the distance so they weren't gonna be able to do anything. Gonna send in big band yet again. Wait for him to get up. Damn it! Oh, just out of range for that one. Let's see if I can finish him off with a special Yes! No, just just barely. Just so close. I thought that was just gonna be a nice little finish there, but of course not. Just one more though. Come on. Uh, I may as well just finish it off with Cerebella, why not? Oh damn it. And that's that's a wrap. I went a bit better than I expected, I'll I'll admit. It. <laughs> like ten times better than I expected, if I'm perfectly honest. Oh boy. Wow, look at this story. Now, to be honest, I'm actually wondering if there's going to be, if there's, like, completely different stories than, like, there is in regular Skullgirls. Because if I'm perfectly honest, I've not completely paid attention to the stories. I've just sort of gone ahead and, um, played whatever. But like I said, you can get the relics and stuff from other stuff. You do not have to buy them if you don't want to. Which is great, because, like I said, not everybody is a fan of stuff like in-app purchases, that sort of stuff. Not everybody likes it, so the fact that they do include it so you can actually get some outside of buying it is really, really good. Of course, if you want, you can, but whatever. Oh, I didn't even technically finish it. There's still a whole bunch more I need to do, but whatever. I'm gonna get- I'm gonna open the relics up, and then, uh, end off the video, I suppose, because I've been going on for a decent amount of time. I was hoping that I'd just be able- that I would just be able to finish that story mode just like that, but of course not. Of course I actually had to do the other stuff. What are we gonna get here? Ah, uh, duplicate. No! So, that one in specific was, like, a character unlock, because you don't necessarily have every character from the start. What the hell is this? Relic charge in the relic store to get a silver or gold character. Okay. Can't say I actually knew that. It's good to know, though. Alright. So, what's this one? So, Specialist Relic guarantees a special move. Okay. So, if you really want to, you can also use gems you may get. Oh, God. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, okay. You can just simply open it fast like that if you really want to. I kind of didn't want to open it like that, but whatever. 
As you can see, you can also get some of the relics right here with the little gems you have. Uh, all it says is coming soon because clearly this is the closed beta. They don't really want people spending money and that sort of stuff right now. But you can get two. There are two daily relics you get every day. So just in case you're not... Just in case you may not have, like, the patience or skill to really go through a story mode or whatever, and you just simply want to do quick play, you can get them from the daily relics if you want. But like I said, there's also specific relics for specific characters, as you can see here. But, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video, people. So, if you have enjoyed, be sure to drop a like as well as a comment. Be sure to subscribe if you're really feeling it. And I shall see you guys next time. Can the game go back to the title screen? <laughs> this is what a closed beta is like, people. This is why it's beta and not final. Oh, boy, this is a nice ending. All right, though, people, I shall see you guys next time. See you.